and there were some comments that GM had made at one point about uh, doing some more uh, business in Mexico. Anyway, let's, uh, in the meantime, bring in our special guest this morning on day one, uh, being here at our new home, the NASDAQ Market Center. Dean Freeman is the CEO uh, of the NASDAQ. Her new job starts today, as of January 1st. Welcome. Thank you. So before we even get into it, what do you, what do you make of, of just the, the president-elect and, and his approach to uh, speaking so publicly to companies? Well, I would say that he is creating a new age of politics. Um, and now it's a matter of putting those politics into action and seeing what he does in terms of, um, I would say that 2017 is a real show me story in terms of all the policies that he's been proclaiming. So we'll have to see what happens. Okay, but if you're a CEO of a NASDAQ listed company and he either criticizes or praises, a, praises you, what are you supposed to do? I think you're supposed to continue to execute on your business strategy and then have an open dialogue with the administration as appropriate. A uh, big question, of course, has been about volatility. Volatility has been remarkably low, mm -hmm. uh, much lower than people had anticipated. Mm -hmm. Does this change that dynamic? Well, we, uh, we kind of joke about that a little bit in the office, that you know, for us, volume is important in terms of the way that we, our, our revenues are generated. So we always kind of joke about the Twitter feed and volumes. But I would say that at the end of the day, it's going to be what actions result from his, his Twitter feed. You know, right. what, what is he able to do once, uh, once it actually goes through the entire congressional process? Uh, when you look out, this is you're, you're now at the new title. In terms of looking out this year, what's the big project for the NASDAQ? Well, we actually have, um, we, we are both an exchange operator and a global fintech company. So the areas of focus for us in terms of big projects are all around technology. Um, we've been putting blockchain into and embedding it into the technology um, that we offer other exchanges as well as um, experimenting with it within, within our own markets. And we will continue to do that throughout the year. But as for us, it's a matter of making sure that we continue to take all of the new technologies that are available in the marketplace and bringing them into um, our markets and offering them out right. to our clients. How do you view um, a potential new SEC chairman like a Paul Atkins uh, in relationship to trying to implement this new technology, particularly blockchain? Well, I think that the blockchain at this point, you've got to end up showing either a reduction of risk or a benefit to the clients in terms of the ability for them to get things done faster with more certainty. And if you can, if you can really prove that out, then I think that the regulators will get on board with it. Um, in terms of uh, the, the SEC and looking at also market structure, I think that it's going to be an interesting year potentially in terms of um, the opportunity for us to continue to um, experiment in terms of market structure. Um, we have introduced something called the Extended Life Order that was, is on file with the SEC right now, and it's going through that process. So we hope that we can continue to find some new innovations in market structure right. as well. You know, uh, the NASDAQ has always been known as the home for technology companies, a lot of the big mm -hmm. listings of technology companies, and there's a number of big listings things that may come this year. People talk about Uber, they talk about Spotify uh, coming, they talk about um, who am I Snapchat, Snapchat being Snap. probably the biggest. Um, how important is that fight for NASDAQ to get that listing and how important do you think it is for the markets, for those IPOs in this market to be successful, to actually get more people involved in the markets again? Well, first of all, um, we actually had great success in 2016. We won 87% of all of the tech listings that came to market last year, and the top three tech listings chose to come to NASDAQ. So we're really, really pleased with the ability for us to attract tech companies to NASDAQ. And while we look at each company and we fight very hard for each company's listing, it is important to recognize that we are, we believe that we're the best home for any company to list in the United States and to tap the public markets. We have a great market structure and world-class technology to support the trading. We offer a whole suite of solutions that help them navigate right. the public, public markets. And then for those large companies that you mentioned, we have the NASDAQ 100, and it allows them to be um, next to some great, great companies right. as well as get some good passive money. We got a guy over here who likes to be private though, right? You, you've made the argument for many, many years that it's just bad. you can do so much more and be more efficient, more innovative, more productive, and uh, perform better in the private market. And by the way, a lot of technology companies have, have made the same argument. Right. So everything has, there's a life cycle to everything. And there is a period <clears throat> where a company can undergo relatively transformative uh, changes to its key business processes, make itself a better competitor, make itself more efficient so it generates a higher margin, however you measure margin, whether it's EBITDA or net right. uh, margins or free cash flow margins, 
And at that point in time, the company probably is ready to once again be a public company because the key significant changes that may be in the near term adversely affect its reported financials have already been accomplished and now can provide the kind of certainty because more than anything else, it seems the public markets like relative predictability and certainty about what's going to happen. And so um, the company that's undergoing major transformation is not going to give that to them. Once that has been accomplished, then I right. think it's very appropriate for our companies uh, and uh, others to be on. And you're a former market. private equity executive yourself at Carlyle. I am. So I would say that there is a life cycle for every company. I totally agree with that. And that's why we also created the Nasdaq private market, which allows for an efficient execution of liquidity for private companies, because we do see more companies staying private longer. The Jobs Act has given them that ability. And so we want to make sure they can foster their ability to um, be a private company for a long time and still offer some but liquidity isn't that to early an on ramp, an on ramp to the public market here. Well, we have to. Well, I think time will tell. I right. think that Nasdaq private market has been um, has been able to facilitate some liquidity for some great private companies. Have you had that switch is, over yet? You know, in we've only had the private market for two years, mm -hmm. and it's been um, a more difficult IPO environment in the last year. So we actually haven't seen a lot of companies move from the pri private market to the public market yet. What do you anticipate for 2017 in terms of the environment compared to 2016? Yeah, that's a great question because what was really interesting about last year is that we did not. Everyone said it was a very difficult IPO environment, and it was. Um, but the companies that went public on NASDAQ actually had a 24% increase in their market valuation in general. So usually that can be a prediction. If companies do well, and overall in the NASDAQ in the U.S., it was 20%. So if companies do well, that usually is a prediction that there's going to be a more healthy IPO environment in the next year. And we are seeing companies really pick up the pace um, in terms of preparing for their IPOs. We do expect the first quarter to be a strong quarter, assuming that the market backdrop stays this, this inviting. The, uh GM is, is, is recovering, but GM was down on that. GM on, was on down at one and three quarters yeah, percent or so. Now it's down about a half a percent. If, if Trump were to ever tweet about the NASDAQ, it would be uh, uh, unbelievably complimentary. It's a bastion of, of free market capitalism and entrepreneurship, and they take on the big one, the state institution, and they disrupt the entire. I mean, it would be nothing but positive. You're not going to have a, a problem with this. Well, I, I love everything you just said, now, so I would hope now, so. Now, you know that billboard out front? How, how, how long do we have that with our picture, that great big thing? Yeah, the big uh, thing, the yeah. tower. What have we yeah. negotiated so far? How long, uh, we can so I think that you have the tower as the show is airing. What about after? The, I mean, is it possible to get it after? We, we provide <laughs> equal opportunity for people to use the tower in terms of... Uh, 30, so. Yeah, we have the bell ring. You know what, what I just said? I mean, what I just said to you was a, a really important. We could just put the quote up right on the tower with he your picture. I just want to how much I mean, do we got? How, so we've got just during the show right now? So. Um, you know, I'd have to what's ask on our after, What's on after that? Can you check? Well, we've got the Nasdaq market open. That's 9.30. Uh, 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 or maybe IPO. Okay, do the opening, but then back to squat box. Got it. Okay. okay. And then, but then five. we also, this is a Until great five. place then fast, for issues. Then fast right, money. right, and then fast money. Yeah. All right. Well, we yeah. thank you for welcoming us to your new home. It's really, we are really, really thrilled to have you here. So thank you. And we got like a cart right here, like pretzels and stuff hot like dogs. that, hot dogs yeah. right there. And Starbucks too. And the police department. Yes. Right Our here. Forces, in case you want. I to love that. Around. I love that. And there's so much going on for. for, for but what about bubble gum? Huh? Uh, right over yeah. there. Bubble gum right over there. Brooklyn really Diner, Walgreens, right. the case. I mean. When does Naked Elmo?